Hey, how's it going? This is Jonathan Wimbush, motion graphics artist based out of South Orange County, California. What I'm going to do today is a little tutorial showing you how to use the new Metal Skybox version 2, the tracker 360 footage. So within After Effects, you already know how to use our camera tracker. It's pretty easy. What we could do now is bring in our 3D footage that's already stitched together, track that footage, and we can add in our logos. We can add in particles. We can add in green screen footage. I mean, pretty much anything we want to put in there. So without further ado, let's get started. Today is how to track your logos and how to put 3D particles all into your 360 footage with the new Skybox version 2. And so to get started, what's cool now with the version 2 is you can actually have it as a panel. So if you go up to your window, you'll see Skybox Composer down here. You click on that. And you actually can have it snap in your panels like I like to have over here. Or you can have it as a floating box, whatever your preference is. And so for this tutorial, I'm using the footage that I shot out in the desert at this motocross track. I actually put a Gear 360 on top of our truck rig. We were shooting some motorcyclists on the track. And we you can actually see the crane holding the red camera here but i thought it'd be cool to also get some 360 footage while i was out on the track so this footage here is us just driving through the parking lot before we hit the track because that's that footage is the most stable for now and so to get started what we'll do is go over to our skybox composer and since we're going to be adding 3d logos in our space i'm going to hit add 3d edit and now you'll see this um box pop up here and I already have a composition with my 360 footage in it over here, the Motor Track 360. So I want to go to the pull down window and look for the Motor Track 360. Click on that. And with the new Skybox, you can actually have it any resolution size that you want. You're no longer confined to any specific um, resolution size. And so since our footage is 1920, I'm going to leave it at that at 1960. And what I want to do is I'm going to center the camera and I plan on using 3D plugins later on. And so I'm going to click on I'm using 3D plugins and then I'm going to hit add 3D edit. And now you can see our new pilot pops up here and this is our navigation window. So if I click on the camera, we can actually move around a 360 viewer. And this is what you would see if you had your Oculus or Vive on or Daydream whatever VR headset you would have. Okay, so I'm gonna go down here, hit R on the camera. I'm gonna center everything back up since I was moving it around. There we go. And so what I wanna do first is I wanna click on properties over here. And this is gonna, this is where you can name your palette here. And so instead of edit one, I wanna make it something more recognizable. So I'm gonna call it camera camera tracking and then hit save and you can see camera tracking so now if you have multiple pilots in here you can keep better track of what you're doing and this also is an easy way so when you go to your output render module here you'll know exactly where you want to go so I'll just hit camera tracking and oh okay I'm back here and so to bring in our tracking data they actually made it easier now with the update where we just hit apply tracker the way after effects works right now is it's still treating it as its traditional footage and so once we get it done tracks we don't want to take our camera and start moving around like we were before we want to take that camera track footage from after effects um, make that apparent to our skybox camera and then we can start orientating all around and then we'll pick our tracking point add our logos in and you'll see everything just kind of works flawless all right, it looks like our camera footage is solved. So I'm just going to click save so I could go into our our, um, our viewer here and click our footage, click 3D camera tracking, and we can see all of our tracking points here. But we don't want to move our camera around just yet because it's going to mess up our alignment because it's still kind of looking at it as if it's 2D footage. And so if we move our camera now, we'll mess everything up and we'll have to retrack. So what we want to do is create our camera and then you'll see 3d tracker camera we don't we still don't want to touch anything what we want to do is go back into our properties and click setup tracker 
and then automatically, well, parent and child are cameras together. So now we, um, let me see, let me pick out a null here that we want to track. Let's pick this blue one. So I'm going to right click and hit create null just to kind of put something in that space. And then I'm going to take, let's say the metal logo, bring that in here, turn it into a 3D, a 3D file. And I'm going to hit P on our null here. And that's going to bring up our properties for where our null is in 3D space. And if you click on position, control C to copy, and then click on P on your logo. And then you can actually control V paste and our logo pops right up into where our null is at. So all we have to do from here is basically hit R to bring up our rotation. And I'm going to move our Y rotation to about let's say 80 to kind of align with the fence. I'm going to make it a little bit larger, larger. I'm hitting S to bring up the scale and I want to bring it off the ground, maybe have it floating up in the skyline here. So I'm just going to bring it up a little bit. So now if we do a RAM preview, you can see our logo is floating in 3d space now. And what's cool is if we go up here to our camera and move around, you can see exactly how it's going to look when you have your VR goggles on, or if you have it on Facebook, YouTube, 360 viewer, etc. And if you move your camera around, don't worry. You can always center it back up by going to your skybox camera, hitting R and then just zero everything out in the orientation. That brings us right back to center and you're right back to where you started. And so what I'm going to do now is now that we know how to bring like our 3D layers in the skybox to track it with the 360 footage. What's cool is if we have a 3D plugin like um, Trapo particular, you can actually have your particles moving in 3D space and it's going to look exactly like you would think it's going to look. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to right click, hit solid, and I'm just going to pick a black solid make our comp size and then I'm going to go over to my effects and presets and I already have particular up here. So I'm just going to drag that in and just for speed sake, I'm going to use one of their presets from their effects builder. Let's see. Let's go to. Okay. So let's say we want, oops, let's say we want moon dust and instead of having floating, I'm just going to have it kind of static and moving around. So that's a good preset to start with. And what I'd like to do is I'll go down to our 3D tracker. This is the one that was um, created by After Effects. And you look at our position, the X, Y, Z position. If you go into particular, you'll see we have X, Y, and Z up here. And so we're going to have to bring this into the position of our camera. And so everything, so you can see the particles and they're just not off in random 3D space. So I'll go down to X, hit control C, go up to X here, control V. And then same thing with Y, copy, paste. And then on the Z, copy and paste. And then if you go to the mission extra, and let's just do a pre-run of like 20. You can see the particles are starting to come here. Right, let me make them a little bit larger. I'm sure you can't see it on your your screen there. Let's see, what, five. And we're going to crank these up. So now you can see the particles in 3D space. I'm going to make our emitter size a little bit larger. So let's make Z space like 9,000. Just picking random numbers right now. So 8,000, let's say 3,000. No, so now if I do a ramp preview, you can see our particles are traveling in 3D space. And if I stop it here, let's just scroll somewhere in the middle, bring our camera up and look at our viewer. You can see 
the particles are all around. So yeah, no, that's that's a really cool trick. And let's pick another one. Kind of, let's do cloud cover because in the desert there'll be a lot of dust and debris and stuff. So we could change that to clouds. Maybe let's um make our emitter a little bit larger. Okay, got particles. Make our opacity and hit ram preview and now you know you'll have to finesse it on your own this is just for a quick preview sake but we're traveling through a cloud field in our 360 footage and again if we bring up our camera and look around you can see it's all trapped perfectly in there Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial from beginner to advanced users. I mean, this stuff is pretty powerful, so I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Make sure you reach out to the guys at Metal at Metal.com. As always, you can look me up online, Windbush.tv. And until next time, stay safe.